The fringed curtains of thine eye advance, and say what thou seest yond. In the summer of August 2023, Teatro Camploi once again raised its theatrical curtains, marking the third installment of the Verona Shakespeare Fringe Festival, accompanied by the Shakespeare and the Mediterranean Summer School devoted to Antony and Cleopatra. Through these events, local and international audiences could peer beyond the boundaries of culture, language and artistic divergence, a journey we will explore. Join us as we pull back the curtains and venture behind the scenes of this year's festival. We delve into the significance of two global gatherings orchestrated by the Skinna Research Center, University of Verona, in collaboration with the municipality that once again drew in a multitude of international students, scholars and artists, solidifying Verona's place on the global stage of all things Shakespearean. In doing so, they expanded the city's reputation far beyond the conventional lens that often casts Verona merely as the romantic backdrop to the tale of Romeo and Juliet. In Shakespeare's time, the alchemical goal of self-knowledge was represented as an androgynous ideal. All male companies of men and boys played all the parts, male and female, with the goal of gaining self-knowledge, becoming better artists and advancing culture. And yet, we can see that at that time, women were not allowed to play on or write for public stages. It was commonly believed that women did not have a soul. Her mother says, talk not to me, for I'll not speak a word. Just that what my But Juliet loves Romeo. Veronetta underwent a captivating transformation becoming a vivacious space where daring and imaginative students worked alongside Shakespearean experts. The chorus of Henry V invites us to aspire upwards. Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention. Romeo finds his enlightenment in meeting Juliet. If he is air, she is fire. Their coming together creates a transformation. They combust, they transmute, their love is pure alchemical gold. Love is that magical element. It is the East, and Juliet is the Here, sun. they all converged with a singular purpose, to share Juliet knowledge, passion, who is talent, sick and, and love. What truly distinguishes the Verona Shakespeare Fringe Festival from its Shakespearean counterparts across European stages is its unique synchronization with the summer school. Throughout the week, students in three distinct groups, Group A, comprising scholars, Group B, consisting of performance artists, and Group C, composed of video makers, journalists, and theater critics, immersed themselves in a captivating journey of lectures and interactive sessions. Their aim, to delve deep into the profound influence of Shakespeare's works on culture. Directed by um, an Armenian director, Karo Bayan. Yes. So, Karo, he doesn't understand Hungarian or Romanian, right? Okay. So, what is that like? What's that, what's that process like? Karo Bayan, Karo is your... When we express him, uh, uh, director, 
no and, and, and say, Aaron, I want to say, yes, it's thing. See, tax, 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 tax. Loader, 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 loader. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I understand. No! No, tax, tax, tax. We had a remarkable opportunity to spend an afternoon with the team behind the feast, to talk with the actresses and the director, and to have a look into their working process. This synchronization creates dynamic exchange, bringing worlds that are often kept apart academic scholarship, artistic creativity, and the youth. They are all merged together within the same theatrical sphere. This year, the summer school introduced Group C, a team with a distinct mission, to capture the enchantment that unfolds in Verona. They shadowed the theatre troops, conducting interviews and mastering the art of crafting engaging multimedia content. If we had your voice here, you'd all be dead by now. <laughs> I have drugged their possessions. Stranger to King Duncan. I did not like the man. When I received the letter about the prophecy, I gained a bigger purpose. I wanted to see my husband crowned, and I gave him the best I had. And I am judged and accused. Because, because of my marriage, I was thought of forever after as shallow and corruptible. Naively ambitious and, above all, frightened. All qualities that help to account for my spectacular surrender. We should have spoken plainly to each other. I trusted everyone else. <laughs> so, Imogen, what would you do instead? I think I would perhaps live more outside. Some of the girls stopped coming here because they accepted their fate. I couldn't. I can't. Simona forgave me. I never forgave myself. I don't know how. She paid a great price for a small vice. <laughs> Smell on you. 
Group C is leading our gaze behind the stage curtains, in between acts, and into the uncharted realms once the stage lights dim. Through their lens, the stories of the artists and performances are unveiled, and they are becoming the master storytellers behind this cinematic journey. As you watch this documentary, you're following their eyes. French Festival serves as the global gathering ground for theatre companies from all over the world. In this vibrant hub, the heartbeat of theatre resonates with unwavering intensity as artists labour tirelessly to breathe new life and originality into Shakespeare's work. Whether it's emerging talents or well-established artists, large ensembles or solo performances, even musical renditions gracing the stage, the Veron Shakespeare French Festival embraces and celebrates diversity multiculturalism and artistic innovation. <laughs> In Sweden, Shakespeare is not uh, as big as in uh, the UK or, or, or I think maybe other parts of the, the uh, Anglo-Saxon speaking world. So uh, in Sweden, we, they need a little push, I think. Okay. Uh, and that's where the, the pop music comes in. excited uh, about tonight and we're so happy to be in Verona we haven't been here before okay. and it's a wonderful city and, and uh, we just enjoy ourselves all the day <laughs> we hope you will enjoy it then <laughs> thank you guys thank, thank you, you. Once thou do such a deed for all the world <coughs> why the world is a huge thing it is a big prize for a small buyer. We started out uh, with uh, a few pieces of music that we really loved and a few pieces of text from Shakespeare that we really loved. And then we added and we sorted uh, things out. We took things out and we added. And when the whole thing came together as a, as a show, we saw this thing, things happened in our life. Your 
I did love you once. Indeed, mistress, you made me believe so. You should not have believed me. I love you not. I was the more deceived. You said, Jan, why don't you call my name? Friends that are half in league live a little 